Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my March favorites and I have quite a few favorites to show you today since it has been a pretty busy month. We did some traveling, went to Ireland, um, so I've got some favorites from my travels, some favorites that I've been using all month. The weather has been still going back and forth a bit as we are transitioned into spring and um, I also have a few new things that I've picked up in the month of March to show you. So I'm gonna jump right in and get started with some beauty products. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is what is on my lips right now. Um, I mentioned this in my last video, which was a spring essentials video. This is a lipstick by Tom Ford in a matte formula and it is called Flame. It looks like this. It's a really bright, um, beautiful kind of poppy red color. I absolutely love it. And I feel like it's a perfect formula for a matte lipstick because it's not too drying but it stays put, it doesn't transfer onto your teeth. It's kind of the perfect matte formula and I love this really bright color red with everything in my spring wardrobe. It's just been my favorite this month. And then a couple of fragrances that I have been loving and I talked about, I believe in my last video as well. Um, these are both from Jo Malone and I've been pairing these two together all through the month of March. I wore them when I was in Ireland and now one in particular, every time I spray it, it's making me think of being in Ireland. So I'm loving it for that reason. But that is the um, Blackberry and Bay. Not sure if that's coming up and paired with the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. These two are just a match made in heaven. The Nectarine Blossom and Honey is really light and sweet and fresh, and the Blackberry and Bay is a little more tart, and paired together, they are just perfection for the spring, so I'm really loving those. And then a couple of um, just accessories I've been loving this month. First are a pair of sunglasses from Ray-Ban. Um, I took these with me to Ireland as well, but I've just been loving this style of sunglasses in particular. These are the Ray-Ban rounds, and um, these are in just the classic gold with kind of the dark green lens that I really, really have been loving. They're really lightweight, perfect for spring, and kind of just go with everything. So I've been really loving my Ray-Bans. And then a new piece that I had picked up before my trip and used throughout my travels was my Louis Vuitton Passport Holder, I think it's called. I absolutely love this piece. I took it with me in my pochette accessoire as a crossbody bag, and it was brilliant. It's all I really needed. It carries my passport, a few credit cards. I put my license here, and then I still have some. Actually, that's my <laughs> plain uh, boarding pass here, but I put kind of my boarding boarding pass and anything else that I needed as I was going through the airport, receipts, everything in here kept me organized and of course I think it is the perfect kind of starter travel piece from Louis Vuitton that everyone should have in their collection if you are a Louis Vuitton fanatic. Um, and then another kind of accessory I could not, I guess I'd call it a travel accessory that I took with me that I could not not mention as a favorite is my beautiful Louis Vuitton niece BB. I took this with me to Ireland. I carried it in my um, Neverfull in the GM size and we did not take any, we did not check any bags on this trip. We only took um, bags that we could carry on. So I took this inside my Neverfull and it packed everything I needed um, toiletry wise. I think I did a video before I left a vlog showing how much I can fit in here so you can watch that to kind of look but I've kept a lot of items just um, in here for when I do travel. I tend to keep things in my toiletry bag so that I can just kind of grab and go but this was the perfect little travel companion and um, it is just the perfect size. I absolutely love it, would highly recommend it, and think um, it is a beautiful Louis Vuitton travel piece. And then another, um, I guess I'd call this an accessory that I've been loving this month is from Gucci. This is the Gucci Marmont belt and um, I did a video talking about which belt should I keep, which belt should I send back because I ordered two. Ended up keeping them both and um, this one, however, I think wins in terms of my favorite. This is the larger size with the gold um, hardware. I absolutely love this. I think it's the perfect belt to not only use just as a statement belt with jeans or um, any type of pants that have belt loops large enough. It is about, I think, an inch and a half um, in size, but it also pairs really nicely with a dress just as kind of a um, 
a waist belt so I'm really loving it for all of those reasons and I will do a video soon kind of showing you how I style some of my newer pieces I'm waiting for some things to come in I'm gonna do a spring haul and kind of talk about how I um, style some of my spring wardrobe and I will include this belt in that video but I absolutely love this and then some shoes that I have been also loving from Gucci and cannot take off I'm obsessed with them these are my Gucci slides and I have been just wearing them constantly Constantly. They're so comfortable. Um, I have been asked a lot about sizing. I did size up half a size on these, but they fit now perfectly and they're super, super comfortable. Great quality leather. I'm just starting to kind of break them in of these shoes and have been getting a ton of use out of them, much to my husband's dismay because he thinks they're the ugliest shoes in the world, but I don't care. I wear them anyway and I think they're beautiful. And then a few things that I picked up in the month of March that I um, will probably include also in my spring haul video, but I wanted to include them in this video since they are favorites already. The first is a uh, leather jacket. This is from All Saints and it is the Balfern jacket and um, I absolutely am so obsessed with this jacket. I got it in a UK size 10, US size 6, Euro size 38. If anyone's interested, I know I got some questions about sizing. Um, this jacket is actually very deceiving. It looks um, really big and bulky, but it's actually quite fitted in the back and in the shoulders but then it is nice and slouchy in the front, which makes it, for me, the perfect fitting leather jacket since um, a lot of these jackets, I can't even like zip them up. They just don't fit me right since I'm short-waisted and the waist always hits me in the wrong place. So this jacket just absolutely fits me perfectly. Um, it is a beautiful, I think, lambskin leather that smells delicious, feels delicious, and it's just so soft. Some of the details I love about the jacket um, are that the Hardware is um, black in some of on some of the snaps and things, which is you know a little bit less in your face. Um, and the hardware that is silver is kind of a brushed silver, so it's really um, again just a little bit more understated. The belt actually is sewn into the jacket, so it doesn't like some jackets kind of loop through the back. It's actually sewn onto the sides, so it's not going anywhere, which I really like. And um, again, it's just the perfect fitting jacket and I got it for about $100 off since I tried it on in Ireland. They did not have it in my size and I ended up ordering it and having it shipped to me for um, free. And so I was really excited to get it when I came home and, um, and to have it fit. So really, really loving this jacket and will definitely include this in my spring haul as well. And then another um, kind of fashion favorite, I guess, is what I'm wearing. I should talk about this. This is a off the shoulder, kind a shirt that I got from J. Crew. I'll try to stand up and show you, but you can't really see very well. This is just a nice lightweight blue and white stripe. I was looking for that when I did my spring essentials video. I was looking for something with some off the shoulder or cold shoulder details, and this one just kind of works perfectly. I got it in a size medium, um, and it's actually from the J. Crew factory store, not from J. Crew, the store um, but yeah it was a great price point and I'm just absolutely loving it it goes with everything and it's perfect for the spring and summer and then a recent Instagram post that um, I put up was an item that I found actually just this past weekend I was doing a little spring shopping and I came across this at Saks off fifth and I wasn't planning to purchase this but it just jumped out at me and I could not walk away without it it is from Furla and um, I picked up a little blush colored bag. This is my first sort of blush colored anything and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm normally not a pink person, but I really didn't have a nice spring bag. A lot of my bags are black and gray and darker colors. And so I really wanted something. Um, I thought I was gonna end up with like a taupe or a beige or a really light gray colored bag, um, but this one caught my eye and I absolutely love it. This is actually the Julia bag. I thought it was the Metropolis bag when I saw it. Um, turns out it's not. The hardware on it is a little bit different and there are some other differences. It does not have feet on the bottom, but it's large enough to hold my iPhone 6 and all of my day-to-day -day necessities. Here's what it looks like inside. It's got this nice suede. Um, it's got a long chain. The hardware on this is actually um, a kind of light gold and it's really, really substantial. Absolutely love the chain. Um, and the inside of it has, you can see the care card here. Let me just 
pull that out. Um, it has some card holders in the front there, and I don't think there's any pockets now. No pockets in the inside, just the little stamp that says Furla. And it's roomy enough to kind of take your phone, your keys, um, cash. Obviously, if you, you don't even need a wallet, you can use the card slots. And it is just the perfect um, little going out bag. And I absolutely love it. And I will try to show you quickly. I know you can't really see, but I'll include this in my spring video as well, my spring haul video. But you can wear it um, crossbody. It comes down right on my hip or you can obviously wear it as a long shoulder bag. Um, you're not gonna be able to see this, but it falls kind of on my lower hip when I do that. And it is just such a beautiful kind of blush pink color. Um, I just think it's perfect for springtime. And then the last item that I could not not include in this video since I have been just obsessed and taking so many pictures of it on my Instagram is what I picked up in Dublin and it is of course my beautiful Noe BB and I have just been using this bag non-stop. I just changed out of it recently because we got some rain. Um, it is actually starting to patina which I'm really excited about because it seems like a lot of my bags sit in my closet in a dark place and don't get any um, use during the kind of daylight. I take them out either when I'm going out in the evenings or um, if I'm going out somewhere, they, they don't spend a lot of time outside. And since the weather has been nice, I've been using this quite a bit. Um, and it was um, absolutely the perfect bag until it started raining and then I switched out of it. But I've gotten a lot of requests to actually compare this bag to my Pochette Mati since um, they are both kind of long shoulder slash crossbody bags that um, that hold roughly the same amount. This can actually hold more than the Pochette Mati, but um, I would probably carry about the same items anyway, just my kind of essentials. And so I will have that video coming up soon, but I am absolutely loving this bag. It is one of my favorites in my collection and um, really excited to have gotten this um, also at a great price while I was away in Ireland. And it will always be my little memory of Dublin. So um, yeah, that is it for my March favorites. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And um, I will, as I said, be doing a spring haul video coming up coming up soon as well as my comparison review slash what's in my bag on my Noe BB um, versus my Pochette Mati. So keep look out for that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. And I will see you all in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.